How does a hurricane form? A hurricane, also known as a tropical cyclone, is a large, rotating storm system characterized by strong winds and heavy rainfall. It typically forms over warm ocean waters near the equator. The process of hurricane formation is complex, involving several key factors and stages. Here is an in-depth explanation of how a hurricane forms. Warm ocean waters, the first and most critical factor in hurricane formation is warm ocean waters, with a temperature of at least 26. 5 degrees Celsius 80 degrees Fahrenheit extending to a considerable depth. These warm waters serve as the primary energy source for the storm. Low pressure system, a disturbance, such as a tropical wave or a low pressure area, initiates the formation of a hurricane. These disturbances can originate from various weather patterns, including the Intertropical Convergence Zone, ITCZ, or the remnants of a frontal system. Rotation and spin, as the disturbance moves over warm ocean waters, the heat and moisture from the surface are absorbed, causing the air to rise rapidly. Due to the Earth's rotation, known as the Coriolis effect, the rising air begins to spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere or clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Formation of a tropical depression, as the rotating system gains strength, it becomes a tropical depression, with maximum sustained winds of up to 38 miles per hour, 33 knots. The center of the depression, known as the eye, is typically several miles in diameter and often relatively calm. Tropical storm formation, if the tropical depression continues to strengthen, with sustained winds reaching speeds between 39 and 73 miles per hour, 34 to 63 knots, it becomes a tropical storm. At this stage, the storm is assigned a name. Eye formation, as the storm intensifies further, the eye becomes more defined. The eye is a region of relatively calm weather, surrounded by a circular wall of clouds known as the eye wall. The eye wall contains the strongest winds, heaviest rainfall, and most severe weather conditions. Hurricane formation when the tropical storm's maximum sustained winds exceed 74 miles per hour, 64 knots, it is classified as a hurricane. Hurricanes are categorized on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale, which ranges from category 1 a weakest, to category 5, strongest. Sustaining factors for a hurricane to maintain its strength, it requires specific conditions, such as warm ocean waters, low vertical wind shear, changing wind direction and speed with height, and a high level of moisture in the atmosphere. These factors provide the necessary fuel and prevent the storm from weakening. Dissipation, a hurricane can dissipate when it moves over land, encounters cooler ocean waters, or experiences strong wind shear. As it loses its energy source and the warm core that fuels it, the storm weakens and eventually dissipates. It's important to note that the formation and behavior of hurricanes can vary, and meteorologists closely monitor these systems using satellite imagery, weather radars, and computer models to provide accurate forecasts and warnings to potentially affected areas. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.